Avacoder. In this video, we're going to look at how the primary keys work in PostgreSQL and what do they give us. So please put this video an Emperor's thumbs up, subscribe and toll the bell. Right, so let's imagine a situation. So we have a guy called John Doe who is working in our company. So he wants to change his email. And for some reason, the HR person didn't update the record, but rather created another record for the same John Doe, but with a different email. Or imagine we have two John Doe and they both have the same first name and the last name. The only thing that is different is their email. So to avoid any further confusion, we want to introduce a parameter that will make sure the record is unique. For instance, it can be company ID that will be attached to all employees and this company ID is going to be unique. So how can we make sure this going to happen? Well, we can introduce a constraint called the primary key, which will make sure that any records will only have this unique ID present. So if we'll try to insert another record with the same company ID, there will be an error. Right, so let's have a look at our table employee. And as you can remember, we already introduced the ID as the primary key for employee table, as you can see down below in indices. And we did this when we were creating our employee table. As you can see, ID has got parameters such as primary key, not null and big serial. Big serial means it will increase by itself when more records will be added, the ID will be increased by one with every record being added to the table. But let's have a look in practice how it will prevent us from inserting another record, inserting a duplicate into our table. So let's say we will select all from employee, we'll limit it to one record. So record number one, a guy with um, ID number one is Raphael not Hatley. We'll try to insert another Raphael and here we go. There is an error saying the key ID equals one already exists. So we can't insert another record with the ID of one. And this is indeed the behavior we expect from our primary key. However, what if we'll drop the primary key? We can type alter table, table name employee, and then drop constraint. As you remember, primary key is our constraint because it prevents us from inserting a duplicate ID value into the table. So if we'll drop it, employee PK. Let's see what's going to happen. And yes, it is dropped. So now if we'll try to add that guy again, we'll have no constraint to prevent us from doing this. As you can see, it's gone. So let's try to insert that gentleman again. I'll copy it from the VS Code and insertion is successful. Now, if I will select everyone with ID of one, so we can type select all from employee where the ID equals one, we will have two records. So as you can see, both of them are identical and they both have the ID of one. So if we will try to alter our table again and add the primary key, we can type the alter 
table, table name employee. And then add primary key. And we'll add the ID as the parameter. And then if we'll try to run it, we'll get an error that will say we have ID of one duplicated. And indeed, we have two records with the same ID. So in order to clear that mess, we will need to delete one of the records or both of them. Because we don't have any mechanism to distinguish one from the other, they're both identical. So we're going to delete both. So we can type delete from employee where ID equals one. And that's going to erase both Raphael Hatley's from our employee table. So if we'll select all from employee table, all employees whose IDs are equal to one will have no records. So now we can add our employee Raphael Hadley again into our employee table and we can also add our primary key ID as the unique constraint for our table again. So we copy and paste the first line and welcome back Raphael. So now nothing is stopping us from adding the unique constraint. So we'll type alter table table name employee and add primary key. ID and it's a success. So this is basically how primary keys work in Postgres and in other relational databases. In the next lesson, we're going to have a look at other constraints because primary key is not the only one. But meantime, please put Emperor's thumbs up, toll the bell and subscribe. That was V. See you in the next lesson. Bye bye.